Every day and everywhere we are surrounded by radiation. The light we use to see, heat, radio waves, and the microwaves we use to cook are all forms of radiation. The sun, TV remote controls, and even some minerals are all sources of radiation. Radiation is also a common cancer treatment. In fact, more than half the people diagnosed with cancer get some type of radiation therapy. These treatments all have one thing in common. They all use high energy waves to kill cancer cells. How radiation therapy is used depends on the cancer and the individual patient. When we meet in consultation, we'll talk about how we use radiation and when we use radiation. And actually, most people, as a part of their treatment for cancer, receive radiation in some form. Now, radiation can be used alone, as in prostate cancer, or in breast cancer, for instance, we use it with surgery and chemotherapy. Doctors use radiation therapy to treat cancer because it is good at shrinking and destroying tumors without causing much damage to normal tissues. The high energy waves pass through the body to reach the cancer. Cancer cells divide faster than normal cells and don't obey the rules of the body. When the cancer cells are hit with high energy radiation, they are damaged. If they don't die right away, they die the next time they try to divide. As the cancer cells continue to die, the tumor shrinks. Most normal cells don't die with radiation therapy because they are not dividing and they are better able to repair themselves. Basically, it comes down to external radiation or internal radiation. Now, external radiation is when we use a very fancy x-ray machine and aim an x-ray into the body from away from the body. That's the majority of what we do. But oftentimes, we have the choice of using internal radiation, which sometimes is called brachytherapy, too. Now, internal radiation is when we use radioactivity and place it near to or into a tumor within the body. The decision about which type of radiation to use is based on the type of cancer, the location of the cancer, whether or not the cancer has spread, the current health of the patient, other treatments the patient is on or will be on. Radiation for medical use is usually produced by sources inside of machines. The machines focus the radiation and create a beam that can be aimed at the cancer. The radiation coming from the machine cannot be seen or felt. In most cases, external radiation is a local treatment. It is aimed at a specific part of the body. Doctors plan the treatments so the radiation is aimed at the cancer and has the smallest possible effect on healthy cells. Your skin may be marked with a special ink that will remain during the treatment. The marks allow technicians to position you the same way each time and make sure that the radiation is always hitting the right spot. Radiation doctors have a couple tools we use to help treat patients with x-rays as accurately as possible. One of these tools is a mask. This is just a plastic shield that they put over your head. And for instance, if you had a tumor of the mouth, we have to make sure that it stays in the same position every day during treatment, and the mask does this for us. Again, it's only used sometimes in some patients just for a couple minutes every day. Another tool for positioning a patient is a mold. For instance, if you were treat being treated for prostate cancer, we would make a mold of your legs just so your legs are in the same position every day. Again, this is something that's just used during radiation, and of course it's not painful, but it just helps us be as good as we can as we deliver the radiation on a daily basis. External radiation therapy often requires a series of treatments. It is usually given five days a week, Monday through Friday, for two to 10 weeks, depending on the type of cancer and its location. Sometimes treatments might be given twice a day. The treatment usually takes less than an hour and you do not need to stay in the hospital. Before treatment, a radiation therapist will greet you and may ask you to put on a gown. The therapist will then take you into a treatment room and guide you through the treatment. All right, Ms. Johnson, this is going to be the treatment room that you are treated in every day, okay? 
So what's going to go on today is um, I'm going to set you up to the marks that we have on, this, on your sides. I'm going to lower your pants down to about mid-thigh in your underwear and I'll keep you covered the whole time, okay? So once I have you lying down flat on your back, this machine is going to rotate around you. The x-ray imagers are going to come out to the sides and we're going to take some x-rays. Uh, the doctor is then going to check those x-rays for positioning and make sure that everything is exactly the way it was when you were planned. Um, and then we will start your treatment after that, okay? okay? So it will only take about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and take your jacket and we can get started. While you're being positioned on the machine, your legs or feet may be secured to prevent accidental movements. Okay, Ms. Johnson, this looks perfect. This is exactly how you're going to be sitting every single day, okay? Okay. All right, and let's just see these marks, okay? Everything looks good. You kept your marks well for us, okay? okay. I'm going to go ahead and lift you up and get you lined up. After you are put in position, you will need to stay very still to make sure that the radiation is going to the exact same place each time. But you do not need to hold your breath. Okay, Ms. Johnson, I've got everything lined up right where I want it. I just want you to hold still from here on out. What's going to happen first is we're going to take those x-rays and I'll be talking to you over the loudspeaker. I have two cameras watching you and I can hear you too. So if you have any problems, you just raise your hands, okay? and um, I'll come back in the room. I'll let you know before we start the treatment. Okay, Ms. Johnson, the doctor has reviewed all the images and everything looks great. We're gonna go ahead and start your treatment now. We're almost finished, Ms. Johnson. Just hold still. You're doing great. Okay, Ms. Johnson, you can relax your arms. We're all finished. You did great. Internal radiation therapy uses radiation that comes from tiny radioactive sources placed inside the body. The radiation source can look like a small seed pill, or wire. The implants are placed in or around the cancer by a doctor. If needed, you will be asleep or the area will be numbed while this is done. Although the radiation is close to the target and does not travel very far, some normal cells are damaged and side effects may occur. When we use internal radiation, we put it in temporarily in some cases or we'll put it in permanently and it just stays forever. Now the radiation wears off and then what's left behind is very harmless to the patient. Internal radiation therapy is used for cancers of the head, neck, breast, uterus, cervix, prostate, gallbladder, esophagus, eye, lung, and some others. Each type of internal radiation treatment is different, so it is important to ask questions about any treatment plan. In most types of radiation therapy, the area exposed to radiation is limited. The possible side effects depend on the area being treated. Radiation on a daily basis is actually painless. It's just like getting a chest x-ray. You don't feel a thing. But during treatment, the kind of side effects you might experience, say, if we were treating the prostate, would be urinating more frequently or going to the bathroom more frequently or getting tired. And that's just the effect of the buildup of radiation in that area. Some common side effects for almost all types of radiation therapy include skin changes where the radiation is aimed. These might include itching, dryness, blistering, or a rash. You might also feel fatigued or unusually tired. Side effects usually go away within four to six weeks after the end of treatment. Other short-term side effects that may occur depending on the area being treated include diarrhea, hair loss at the treatment area, mouth dryness or mouth sores, nausea and vomiting, loss of sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, swelling of areas being treated, bladder problems such as bladder irritation that may cause you to urinate frequently. 
Some possible long-term side effects, again, depending on the area being treated, might be infertility and sexual problems, lymphedema or swelling of an arm or leg usually when combined with surgery, joint and organ problems including pain and damage, second cancers. Whether you are getting internal or external radiation therapy, it is important for you to discuss your treatment plan with your doctor. You should ask your doctor what to expect, how to take care of yourself during and after treatment, precautions you may need to take, and the benefits and risks of the treatment. For more information on radiation therapy, please visit the American Cancer Society website at www.cancer.org.